All right, how's it going, guys? The Cast here, back with some more Minecraft on our Minecraft series over on our multiplayer world with some friends and whatnot. Today, I really want to work on getting a villager breeder set up. We got the slime farm set up. Uh, I know Seams over here has a ton of stuff. I hit it too many, hit it too many times. I know that he has a bunch of uh, different farms set up himself. But I do want to get some villager stuff set up so we can probably get an iron farm relatively here soon in the near future. But let's go look at his farms really quick. I should probably kill those guys. So what does he have all over here? I'm pretty sure this is a chicken farm. Yeah, so he's got a bunch of eggs here. Maintenance? Be back here for all this stuff. This is just a fancy bamboo farm it looks like. It is a little, very not very lossless. Mine's a lot more loss than his, but I also don't have quite as much going on for mine. I set up one of these in my little house too. I stole some of his bamboo and went and built my own thing. I'm pretty sure he has more than enough. It looks like someone stole a bunch of his bamboo too, because that thing was full, full when I took it. And then he's got a XP generator, I'm pretty sure is what this supposed to be, is supposed to be. Uh, Minecarts under some sand, over hoppers. This is supposed to be a one tick, or zero tick pulse generator. I think it makes the cactus grow really fast. Which then end up getting put all in these furnaces, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and then these get smelted down and then you can take the cactus out of here. Do not touch until taught how to use, okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know how it works, but I'm not going to mess with it anyway. Uh, I've been getting XP my own way through AFK fishing. Um, I'll show you some of that here in a second as well before we go get these villagers. White people? What? Oh, he's got a little like farm thing set up. That's nice. I need carrots actually for our few project here in just a second. Interesting. I'm assuming this gets placed, which lets this redstone pass through, which powers this piston, which breaks it instantly, which pushes it into this hopper. That is an interesting little farm setup. I didn't know that was a thing. That's really cool. And he's got a little AFK rumor here, and you just doggo, it's getting dark. But yeah, seems has a whole bunch of little farms set up, gathering a bunch of random things. Um, I've got some of my own farms doing kind of the same thing. I don't know why we're both doing our own farm. I'm going to get rid of these guys. Yeah, I've been upgrading and enchanting things. So I have... Oh, I hit him. So I have some stuff set up. I got a lot of bow stuff from the AFK fishing. Fishing, for some reason, you get a lot of enchanted bows. So I've got a, a pretty decent decent bow set up. I've actually got two different bows. This one with infinity and the other one with mending. Can we snipe him? Oh, look at that shot. Look at that shot. As you can see over here, I've set up all my item frames on my chests as well. So I've gotten, so I can actually find what I'm looking for instead of spamming through every chest like I have been. Here's my little bamboo farm, which is definitely not as good as seems as, but it's, it's producing some. It's, it's doing its thing. Here's our little AFK fishing spot. Here's my little fishing pole for it and then I've gotten a couple items so I've just been taking these out of here and disenchanting them with a grindstone to get extra XP on top of our XP that we're getting from fishing itself so getting some stuff set up that way and then I've just been tossing these because I don't need them so I've just been throwing them in a the corner waiting for them to despawn but we're getting a sword to kind of set up it's got a little, couple of enchants I'm still trying to get uh, sharpness 5 on it, and then I don't know what else I need on it, what else I want on it. But we've got some pickaxes here. I've got my Fortuna, is what I decided to call it. I don't know why. Uh, it's a pretty decent pickaxe. I like it a lot. And then I got my Silk Touch one here that I also need I'm breaking on before I do too much with it. But took it out for a little test run of mining, and it's very nice to get a whole bunch of coal since the fortune on it. All right, so how are we gonna get these villagers? I'm thinking I'm gonna get some rails in a mine cart and just kind of push them over here. Um, I also need a spot for the villager breeder. I think I'm gonna go with a tutorial 
of a breeder that's made by Impulse, Impulse SV, if you guys have seen him. We might throw it over in this corner, since there's quite a bit of room over here that I'm not using. My cows are so loud, there's so many right there. Yeah, I think we might throw it over here. It's going to be relatively large. I need carrots for it, so I need, or I want carrots for it. I guess I don't need carrots. I could use potatoes, but I'd rather have carrots just because we'll need carrots for the future, so I can make golden carrots. And that'll passively also get us more carrots. But yeah, so let me grab the minecart and some tracks. And we'll try to go nab us some villagers really quick. So this village isn't too, too far away. Uh, I probably should have grabbed some power rails. Because I don't really know how I'm going to get them up the hill. If that's even possible. So I think I want some guys that don't have professions. Which most of them around here seem to be weaponsmiths. So is there any without professions? I think I should be able to change their profession anyway, right? Is that a thing? Because I don't think any of these guys have been traded with. At least I hope not. Maybe people already already come over here and trade with them. No. But still, if I can find some that don't have a profession... This farmer might be fine, though. Do you have carrots over here? That'd be very handy. Is this a carrot? No, it's a wheat seed. All right. So I've done a lap around the village. It looks like those are like our only villagers. That one farmer and a couple of weaponsmiths. Oh, there's some guys right here. I didn't see these guys. Are you both jobless? Heck yeah. All right, I'm taking you two. You two are mine. Now the question is, how do I actually get them out of here? Now, can I get you guys to come with me? Will you go on land? I know you guys are like enjoying a swim or whatever, but... I would really like if you would not go up there. Come here. Hey, go this way. Go this way. Nope. 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 Let's just do this. Nope. Uh, this is going to be a pain. Please get in the minecart. How do I get you to get in the minecart? Ah, got one. I don't know if it has to go down a slope like that to get him, but... Oh, man. Okay. You're gonna go this way? Okay, let's see if he can make this little path. I don't know if this is gonna be possible or not. Nope. Nope. I need you to go onto that track, though, please. Thank you. Now, can you go up this all the way? Can I just nudge you? Nice. Okay, cool. Now, where did the other one go? There we go. I don't know how that worked, but it worked. Now, we should be able to push this guy towards the other guy. What? Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, now let's f continue this trek with all of these guys all the way back. So I've got the villagers at least inside of our square over here, our box. What does this guy want? I think I'm just going to put it up in this corner. I'm going to have to find a way to get them up there where I want them and somehow get them on a fence post, which I don't know how I do, but I know that I need to do. So yeah, I'll try to figure out how I'm going to do all the rest of this. All right, we're getting started here. 
had to run and grab some like glowstone and stuff from the nether just some other resources and stuff for beds but we've got a little bit of a setup here we got some scaffolding even going on it's like we're a professional or something man but this is gonna be all the dirt for the carrots which i got some from squall thank you squall again for the carrots i appreciate it it's gonna be very nice and then we have to build out this dirt area line it with lighting and water and I don't know where we're going to put these villagers. Probably where this scaffolding is, I think, is where he's going to throw it to them to feed them. But, yeah, we're just going to finish outlining all of this. And then we'll place in all of the extra amenity blocks and figure out how we're going to get the villagers up where we need them. Oh, look at this. I just went to bed, so my villagers aren't turning into zombies. Apparently, someone found the cheeky block. If you guys don't know anything about the cheeky block, um, basically... Uh, Parth, while drunk, playing League, made up the thing called Cheeky from <laughs> actually Yorick's Ultimate, if you know League of Legends at all. Um, but when we started playing this again, someone made up the block of gold and named it Cheeky. So now every time one of us finds the Cheeky block, aka this block of gold, we then get to go hide it. So I'm going to go throw this somewhere... Alright, so we're still making some progress a little bit. I've pushed all of them up here for now. I'm hoping that'll make it easier to put the ones that I need over here right there, but they're up here for now. So it shouldn't be too much more to get them into the places that I need them to be. Um, I'm hoping... I guess we'll place a composter. We're gonna have to place a composter here. And hopefully... We'll just put whatever one turns into the farmer, that guy, as... The one that stays up here. Okay, now the hardest part of this whole thing, which is going to be getting these guys into the spot where I need them, where they actually need to be. Let's go up there. Okay, so he's not going to just instantly fall, so I'm hoping I can just break this minecart and that he doesn't instantly run away. Or he goes right there. Yes. Okay. Hopefully that'll work. Will that work? Will you stay there? Will you go to bed and then wake up inside your compartment? He nodded yes at me, right? Yeah? Okay. Please do. I'm gonna, just in case, I'm gonna do this. So he can't get up here. Hopefully. Maybe, I don't know if they can use scaffolding or not. But I'm gonna assume no. And now this guy... Also needs to go up here. And then the same thing. Nope, just give you a little nudge. You will probably fall right where I need you. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Go, 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 go. Are you guys good there? Hopefully. Now we've got a lot of this planted. Uh, we can probably take this guy out just about. I'm gonna do a couple finishing things here before I let him out so he doesn't jump down there. I think I need some stuff, but I think we're pretty much set up. All we need now is to finish this glass tube. Um, I'm probably gonna have to put a water source or something right here so that when the babies fall right here, they don't take damage. And, th and hopefully, I think, I think that's what I have to do. But then we'll also put a hopper and a chest here so we can pick up some other loot as well. All right, so we're getting really close to being done. We're gonna let this guy out. Hopefully that's good. The other question is, will he actually replant this whole thing for me? If I kind of just leave it. I'm also gonna cap this. I have some uh, glass smelting really quick. I don't know if they can use these scaffolding. <gasps> My farmer went to sleep right there. No, 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 no. How did you reach the bed? No, 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 please no, why? Oh, no. Okay, so, some good news, and some, I'm not sure news, I guess. I've capped all this off. I broke the composter, which made one of them not a farmer. This guy seems to only be focused on wanting to get to these guys though or to the bed or something but he's at least not actually getting to the bed now it's just getting him to actually target that 
freaking composter and become a farmer so he can give them food. And then we should be pretty much wrapped up here, but I have one last piece of glass to place in. I wanted to make sure that this all got planted and everything before then and that he turns into a farmer before we wrap this project up and then hopefully we start getting some some baby villagers pretty soon. Ugh, so I'm struggling. I'm also a little confused and somehow I had all three of these guys up in here because one of them had turned to the farmer here, which means that this guy that isn't a farmer out of the two, I don't know how the other guy became a farmer, couldn't become the farmer with the composter that's not there right now, so I removed it to see who would become the farmer, moved them all up in here, and somehow this guy still got... I was just sitting in here like this, and they're all trying to get to bed as it was getting dark, and he actually got into the bed. I don't understand how. Is that the reason it's all the way down there, is that they can't actually reach the bed? I don't... I don't know how he made it. It's really annoying. It's only been a, a little bit since the last clip, but I think it's figured out. I think I sorted it out. I think it's all good. Um, this guy wanted to get down there. This guy lost his profession, so did that one. And I placed it down. He became the farmer, which was super awesome again. And then since this guy was already down there, I just let this one jump down. And I think he's starting to farm. So we'll see. Hopefully that he's... Yeah, there he goes. Look at that. All right, I think I got everything sorted out. These guys have hearts. Why do they... The, it, is it happening? Is it happening? Who has hearts? <gasps> there was a baby. Oh my gosh, it's a baby. <laughs> Guys, we've done it. We've made a baby villager. I don't think we've gotten any drops yet, but oh my gosh. It's working. It's working. Fantastic. It's about freaking time. That was a lot of fiddling with to try to get him to... To fix. Hopefully this guy won't be able to sleep in this bed and hopefully he'll go back to work here pretty soon. It should be getting almost work hours I believe. The other thing is do we trade with him to make him to lock him as a farmer? Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing to do? Yeah I got some roofing over them to make sure that they don't get like struck by lightning turned to witches or something. Something real bad. And then hopefully I don't think he can reach the beds, so hopefully they'll just keep breeding. Uh, we might have to move them from here a little bit further. I'm not entirely sure if we have to do that or not yet. But we shall see. Um, I don't think there's anything else I really, really need to do. It looks like he's back to work doing his thing. We're going to build our way back up a little bit, and we're going to re-till this piece of dirt since I keep untilling it so I can get in and out of here. And I'll put this glass block back. But I think we should be good. I think he should just finish filling all this in, hopefully give them food, and hopefully start making more babies. So we can have a whole bunch of villagers. And then we should have some sweet trading and can get some more nice tools and armor. Oh, so good. I'm so excited. So excited to have this up and running. But I do believe that's all I have time for today. I've been playing for quite a while now trying to get these guys just stupid. Stupid trying to get these guys just to do a simple thing. But yeah. Thanks everybody so much for watching. I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Talk to you guys then. Peace.